Just because Fortnite isn't doing Valentine's Day updates doesn't mean that we're not going to do it. Coin Clash just put out a Valentine's Day update. This is a map that we released back in late December. And I want to show you guys everything that we added since then until now. If you haven't checked it out since release, it is a lot different now. So we swapped out the limited time items from the winter stuff to Valentine's Day themed a house, a pet, and an animated heart. And in order to purchase any of these, obviously you're going to need gold and you're going to need diamonds. You get gold just for playing the map. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Mining, fishing, agility, winning the random event. These guys are over here mining some rocks to gain gold. And once you get gold, if you want to get diamonds, you just have to beat people in box fights, zero builds, pickaxes, and zone wars. So let me show you guys, first of all, for the veteran coin clash players who actually have been playing what the new items look like. I'm going to claim this plot right here. This is the new love shack right over here. It's just like a very cozy room. You got some roses. If you're trying to rid someone up, you got a pink, you know, Lamborghini outside. It's not a Lamborghini. It looks more like a Porsche. Uh, you can't actually drive this around, but maybe one day you will be able to. And it comes with this cool, uh, just like fenced in area. Very cute. Very cool. Um, and then this is the new pet. It's the pink koala bear. Um, so real quick, just for the people who don't know, a limited time item in coin clash means it's limited time so the the recent re limited time items was the penguin the ice paint and the igloo so if you didn't unlock those those are gone forever but there will be a trading system on this map so that people who have them can sell them if they want to for gold for diamonds or whatever so now you have pretty much until the end of february um or probably like a week into march to unlock the Valentine's Day limited time items, then they're going to be gone forever as well. And whoever has them could trade them in the future, but that's about it. Everything else here is still, you know, the, the basic shack cabin castle, the gold upgrades, the other pets, those don't go away. There's also a diamond shop that we added down here. Galaxy paint, town home, crab, monkey, bat. And then this is the most expensive pet on Coin Clash right now. It's a dragon, million gold, hundred diamonds. I don't even have it yet. I need more diamonds. The cool thing is since launching Coin Clash, we now added a feature called Quick Play. Uh, and Quick Play is really cool because all, all I have to do is walk into this portal. And then when someone else walks in, it's going to send me into a match. This is going to be Zone Wars. And whoever wins the Quick Play gets a little bit of gold and one diamond for winning the Quick Play. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think this guy thinks we're playing zero build. Oh, no, he's just dropping his stuff for me. Hey, man, I, I thank you. Thank you. But this is what happens when you win a quick play. You can get 250 gold plus a diamond. That way you can like, you don't have to risk any of your gold in bounty systems. Obviously, we have the bounty system. If you want to risk your gold, you can still do that. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can just play quick play nonstop. Throws you into the action. We have zero build. We have box fights. We have zone wars. Oh, he's trying to riz me up. No. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions as to what new modes you guys want us to add in replacement for pickaxe fights, because not a lot of people do pickaxe fights. We, can, we actually have the data to back that up now. Let me know because, you know, if you guys want like racing or like, a, you know, a different kind of combat mode, we can easily add that. You might have missed it as well. We did add agility as a new skill. On top of my health bar down there, you can see mining, fishing, agility, and then combat. Your combat level, every time, every 10 wins you get in quick play or regular bounties, you increase your combat level. Eventually, that's going to matter. Right now, it doesn't really matter, but eventually it's going to give you more gold for quick play, more diamonds for wins. And also, there's going to be some items that you can only purchase if you reach a certain combat level. Uh, agility, we added two courses. This is the first course. Uh, and you just kind of run through the agility course. You gain gold and you gain agility XP uh, for completing uh, the courses. And every 10 agility levels that you gain, you actually run around faster on the map. Only in the uh, open map, not in the actual bounties, because that'd be uh, that'd be kind of cheesy. But we have this agility course. It's pretty easy. And then there's like a little bit of a harder one in the distance on the other side of the map. You have to get to level 20 agility. Uh, and I'm level 21, so I can do that one as well. And you might have missed it. We also added a random event. Instead of the, the scavenger hunt, this one's actually a little bit of fun. Every 15 minutes on the map, there's a random event. Whoever wins the random event gets displayed over here, and they get 25,000 coins. So this is the random event. 
30 seconds till it starts. It's going to be a impulse knockoff. So everybody gets a grappler with 10 charges. You run around and you grab, you grab shockwaves, you grab boogie bombs and impulses, and you try to win. I'm going to show you exactly how I usually win these. Okay, so a uh, keyword is usually, all right? First thing I look around and I see if there's any boogie bombs that already spawned. I don't see any boogie bombs. They're a little bit more rare. Yeah, but I, I think, is that a boogie bomb? No. So I don't see any boogie bombs, so I'm just going to go this way. And I'm just, what I what I'm usually do is I'm going to jump through. I'm going to grab all of these. I already have a lot of coins, so I usually skip that coin right there just so I can get all the way here quickly. And then... Impulse that guy off. He's dead. He missed his shockwave play. Now I come back through, and I'm just going to keep moving. I'm not going to stop moving. Because if you stop moving, that's where you're going to get shockwaved or boogie bombed or whatever. So constantly move constantly move even though everyone looks like they're they're trying to attack me now i have a boogie bomb watch this watch this so now i have a boogie bomb what i'm gonna do go through here boogie bomb shockwave and because i boogie bombed him before i shockwaved him he actually can't use his grappler to save himself obviously it's not a guaranteed kill because there's timing and stuff that you can do uh that guy just threw a boogie, a boogie bomb at me because I kept running. He, he wasn't able to catch me. All right, so there's a boogie bomb right there. I'm going to have to miss that one. And right there, I just, I, I played it. I played it smart. I kind of waited. I didn't use my, uh, my uh, grappler because I didn't need to. I, I had a feeling I was going to land properly. So sometimes when I see someone off in the distance like that guy, he's kind of hidden. Oh, I got to get this guy. Oh, no, I just missed. That guy has a boogie bomb. So whenever I know that someone has a boogie bomb, I'm going to... Oh my god. No, no. Okay, well, obviously obviously I'm streaming, so everyone's trying to kill me. So I'm going to get snuck up on like that. But you, you, get, you get the drill. You get the drill. Damn! I really wanted to win that, chat, But everybody was just eyeing me. They were eyeballing me, bro. But low-key, it's... When I stopped moving, that's when I kind of got screwed. So you got to have to keep moving. GG. But yes, guys, that is pretty much everything we added with the Valentine's Day update. And I want to let you guys know that we do have still a ton planned for this map. There is a new skill coming out. There's also new cosmetics. Uh, instead of just pets and houses and paint, we actually want to add skin cosmetics so that you can have custom like helmets custom wings capes all kinds of cool different stuff so coin clash on fortnite just search up coin clash or use the map code on the top of the screen to find it check it out see how much gold you can get play against your friends and let me know it's a ton of fun i'll see you guys next time